Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronnie, and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. You have something on your chin. Huh? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. How about you wipe it off? No! Go wipe it off. <laughs> so, as you can see, I am aggravating my eight-year-old because she's got chocolate right in here. It's gone. So. Hey, yeah. Yeah, so, um, so for today's video, I know I'm dressed a little bit more comfortable than what I usually am. I just decided to do a couple of videos and uh, go ahead and get started on the first one. So um, I have done the I done a Morphe tutorial yesterday with the uh, Dare to Create Artistry 39A eyeshadow palette. I really like that palette. It had a lot of gorgeous colors in it. And Today, I'm going to be doing a Milani Most Loved Matte Eyeshadow Tutorial. Now, this was $15 at Walmart. I know if you go to Milani's website, it is a little bit more expensive. But these are the tones that I usually like is the neutral, warm-ish tones. Um, you do have a kind of a brighter orange here, which is like a rustic orange, which would be f perfect for like a transition from like fall into winter. Um, look so I will be using this in today's tutorial this will be what I focus on now my next tutorial I will probably be focusing on my shop miss a such as the vanity eyeshadow palette which looks like this oh. Oh, let me just go ahead and open it up so this is the eyeshadow palette so I will be doing a look with this palette and uh, during that Shop Miss A, I also got a couple of other items that I'll be using in that tutorial as well. Um, one of those was the Majesty Highlighter Palette and then the Lotus Six Color Contour Palette. I'll be doing uh, tutorials with this as well as the Vanity Eyeshadow Palette. And I've got a couple of other items that I was looking through my makeup collection for and found some more Shop Miss A. So I won't have enough to do a full face, but I will have enough to uh, do a pretty good look with, I would think. But um, that video will probably be coming up sometime this weekend. But for today, we'll go ahead and focus on the Most Loved Mattes by Milani. Now I've already got my skin moisturized, my eyes prepped with e.l.f. concealer. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just dive right into the eyeshadow look. Um, I've got some brushes that are drying right now so I probably will have to use the same br brush I'll just wipe it off in between um, I actually need to go through my brushes and find some more eyeshadow brushes I've got a ton I just don't have them beside of me um, but I'll go ahead and I'll use what I do have beside of me so I'm going to start with a vintage cosmetics company step one for the money eyeshadow brush and I will and the names of the palette is on the back so I will be referring and uh, to the by the name and I'll point to it as well so I think that I'm going to go in with this middle um, wait I don't know if that's the names or not uh, okay so I don't know where the box is I think it has the names on it but I'm going to go in with this shadow here for my transition color now, I do generally put the transition color all over my lid. I'm not sure why. It's, I just do. Um, I'm probably just going to work on one eye so that my video is not a million minutes long. I have a tendency to ramble, and I'm trying to get better with it because I have a tendency to ramble here, work, you know, just in life. But, um, yeah, so if you... You know, don't mind me rambling a little bit while I still work on my makeup. I guess this could be like a get ready with me just without the rest of the makeup being ready. Alright. And I don't know that I'm going to do like a full face of makeup to be quite honest with you. Because I do have a couple of other videos that I do plan on 
filming tonight, so I may just do this and, you know, kind of like as a first impressions, I guess. But I do want to use that other eyeshadow palette um, for another video I'll be filming tonight. So this look is actually really, really gorgeous, if you can see. I'm working on this eye only. So pretty happy with that. And I think that I'm going to go in and darken it up a little bit with this color here. Now, this is more of a purpley toned, so that's why I'm not going for that one, but this is more of a brownish tone to me. And I'm just applying it all over the crease as well. I just always put on a lighter color before I ever go in with any darker colors. That is something that I have learned to do um, within the last few years. You see, I just go straight in with a dark color. And it does take a little bit longer to build it up. Um, yeah, I removed some makeup earlier. I'm just going to use the same... So as you can see, they're very pigmented, and that's just with one dip, I guess, into the eyeshadow palette. It's not very powdery, which I really like, but that's the look compared from this eye to this eye. So as you can see, it is pretty pigmented. Um, and then I think I'll go in with some of this... I want to go in with this, but I don't know. I think I'll just darken the edge of it up a little bit. Oh, that's actually really, really nice. Bring it halfway in. And now just to clean that off. And clean up my mess. And as you can tell, my eyes are pre-hooded. So it makes um, the cleanup just a little bit difficult. But not impossible. So I'm really liking the eye look right now. I think I'm going to use my finger and get some of this orange and just pop it on the inner corner. Okay, probably not the smartest idea I've ever had. Okay, so that's still, you know, pretty look. One thing I will say is the, sh the shadows, they do blend out really good. There's not a whole lot of fallout or kickback, whatever you want to call it, with these shadows. But other than that, I really do like them. Um, so, I mean, to me, it was worth the $15. And I know I was wanting to say I wish that there was a shimmer in there, but I just have to remind myself that this is a matte palette. No shimmers, no sparkles, no nothing. Um, so... And then I am going to use this color here as an inner corner highlight. It's pretty dusty. Mm. My little girl is eating and being very noisy about it. Shailene, can we not, you know, yeah. Yeah. Mom, laugh. 
so. I'm a child. Yes, you are. Noisy. Yes, you are a noisy one. But, um, I think that's all I'm really going to do. I know it's not much. However, I really do like the colors. I will play around with it a little bit more and maybe take this color and add some sparkle to it. But that's really all I'm going to do for this video. I, I know it's not very, you know, complete or whatever. But I just wanted to kind of give an idea of what the colors look like. Um, you know, how they blended. Things like that. But I really like the look. I'll probably use that in a tutorial um, very soon. I just want to try some Shop Miss A products right now. So I'll go ahead and I'll end the video here. But I do uh, appreciate you watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If this is not your style, let me know how I can, you know, how can I change it? What can I do to make it better? I know completing the uh, full face, you know, would be uh, good as well. But where I am kind of limited on time and I'm wanting to do a couple more videos, I just thought that this might be the quickest way to do it because I'm going to be wiping this right off. Didn't think there'd be no time in wasting makeup or, you know, time to do one eye. But that is the final I look that I've came up with so far today. If you like it, let me know. If you would change the colors, let me know. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well. That way you're notified when I do upload. Um, I've got a couple more videos I plan on doing. I will be changing out of this shirt into something else. But this is just something that I thought, you know, was really, really comfortable to kind of do a quick video in. But thank you for watching and hope to see you in my next one. Bye.